so let's say you have a program that has a huge startup cost so let's say you're reading uh, through a bunch of files and you're putting each line in an array and then um, yeah and the data is constant well in that case you don't really want to restart the program every time you actually want to use it right because you're going to need to read through that files again the directories and you know putting them into an array malux and so it's very slow right and well i guess if you're on the terminal uh, you can do something like so you run the program and then it will read from standard input and then you know output some file or not some file some something right so let's uh, do this and you know it will, it will output something but what if we actually want to use it from another program so let's say uh, we have some big program and then uh, we want to use this and we want to use the input from the big program and then uh, inputs it to this program this small program and then this small program will produce the output and then the output will be uh, sent to the big program because now we are just using the terminal and then we write stuff to the terminal and then it will um, output some stuff to the terminal well there are special files called FIFO and um, uh, they're also called name pipes, which you could probably guess what it does. So let's actually do something with the FIFO here. So let's write uh, some string into the FIFO. And as we can see, it doesn't actually, well, it hangs. If we use my thing here, use my file manager, we don't actually see anything written to the FIFO. But um, well, if we try to cat it, it it still hangs right now, right? Uh, but uh, if we cat it, it's gonna show the actual well what we tried to write to the FIFO, right? And uh, well, how, what what does what does this mean? Why does it hang, and why does it show it when we try to read it? Well it's just like a pipe right at one end of the pipe you have the uh, let's say we we're going to echo this to I don't know some command right so at one end of the pipe we are going to uh, write uh, and then uh, at one end of the pipe we're going to read some data but uh, we don't actually it's not actually a file right into which we uh, put some data we the FIFO will just reroute or like redirect uh, the output from this uh, to this from the from the right end to the read end right and so when you write it like this echo here like for example uh, it's gonna wait until it's actually read by uh, the read end of the FIFO right that's why it actually it hangs right because it doesn't actually uh, write the content of uh, Hamburg here to the FIFO it just redirects it uh, such that it is read by the other program right in that case uh, we uh, used a cat to try to uh, read the FIFO right and so we can instead of reading from stud in so that we can actually uh, what is it called uh, communicate between different processes uh, we can actually use FIFOs so we're going to read the FIFO uh, we'll open it first just like you open a file and uh, we'll change fgets here to uh, what is it called uh, FP so we're going to read from instead of the std in we're going to read from uh, the FIFO and then um, in I use the search here 
we're doing printf right our puts we can just change that to f I guess f right we can use f right well you can use f puts but you know same thing right so we'll just change it such that it actually um, prints to the FIFO instead of uh, stood out right so uh, size uh, FP and I guess we'll pass a file pointer here passing cont oh I couldn't make it cont okay and um, well we actually want to open it right but now we are going to write to that FIFO so that we can actually uh, receive the output of this in another program so in this case the first argument is the name of the FIFO okay, path to FIFO TMP FIFO and then let's say um gonna echo to the FIFO and then I I would assume that it is writing to the FIFO okay so <laughs> uh, I forgot to close the FIFO <laughs> right close the FIFO and then uh, also don't forget the new line in the F right I mean if you're doing what I'm doing I guess <laughs> uh, where is it where is it? The search, the search. You put, put, don't forget to put new line. But so, uh, let's rerun it. So, uh, TMP VFO is the FIFO, and then let's echo something to that FIFO. All right, and then uh, if you want to read the output of that uh, of this uh, program we'll just uh, read it right and then there we have the output of that program and of course you know <laughs> this is just a you know it's kind of useless to echo and cat the FIFO I mean you'd want to like uh, you can open the FIFO in another program, but uh, yeah, hopefully that was useful.